Hi, today we're going to make three different hard brushes in Procreate. For the first brush, go to the calligraphy brush set in the brush library and choose a brush. You could choose monoline or any other brush that you want. I'm going to choose the shale brush because I like the texture. Next, go to actions, canvas, turn on drawing guide and edit drawing guide. Make sure it's on symmetry, go to options and tap on vertical. Then tap done. And on a new layer, make sure you have assisted drawing turned on. With black, start drawing your heart on one side. Make sure the shape is fully closed and then drop the color in. If you use the texture brush, you may need to adjust the color threshold. You can do this by leaving your pencil on the canvas and slowly moving it back and forth until it's completely filled. When you're ready, choose a dark gray, make a new layer and add it as a clipping mask. Then color a portion of your heart. I'm going to make some stripes. On the same layer, continue this process using lighter shades of grey each time. You can have as many stripes as you want. The time is now the light. When you're finished, turn off the background layer, go to Actions, Add, and copy canvas. Then go to the brush library and choose the brush set that you want to use. Tap the plus sign to make a new brush and go to shape, edit, import and paste. Tap done. Go to stroke path and increase the spacing to max. And go to shape, if you want your hearts to face all in the same direction, don't turn on scatter and leave rotation at 0%. If you want the stamp to stamp in a different direction and weigh each time, you can increase the scatter, rotation, and turn on randomized. Just play around the settings. In Apple Pencil, if you want your stamps to be uniform, leave the size at 0% and the opacity at 0%. Otherwise, play around with the settings. In Properties, increase the maximum size. And in rendering, I think I'm going to change the rendering mode to light glaze. You can try the different modes and find the one that works for you. On a new layer, let's try out the brush. I think this looks good, but you can always make any changes you want to. And don't forget to go to about this brush and name your brush. Add a photo or logo. Put your name and create a new reset point. For the second brush, we're going to duplicate the original heart and move it to the top of the layers. Make sure it's unclipped. Then we're going to duplicate it again, turn on alpha lock and drop in a dark gray color. Go to the arrow, make sure that it's on uniform and snapping and magnetics are turned on and make it a little bit smaller than the outside heart. And then make sure it's in the center. Keep duplicating the hearts and dropping in lighter shades of gray, making them smaller and centering them. Do this until you are happy. Let's select all of the layers by sliding to the right on each layer. Then we'll tap Group. Turn off the background color. Go to Actions, Add, Copy Canvas. Then we'll go to the first brush we made, slide left and duplicate. 
Go to Shape, Edit, Import, and Paste. Tap Done. And you can leave the same settings as the first brush, or you can adjust them. I'm going to leave them the same. Let's try it out. Okay, I think that looks good. I'm happy with that. Let's see how it looks on a black canvas. Change the background color. I like it. Okay, so now go back into the brush. Go to about this brush, change the name, and don't forget to create a new reset point here. For the third brush, we're going to duplicate the original brush. In shape, turn off scatter and randomized. Then adjust the spacing until the hearts are just touching. In Apple Pencil, adjust the size. If you want these shapes to be uniform, leave size at zero and opacity at zero. If you want it to get bigger, if you want it to get bigger, increase the size percentage. Okay, let's try out the brush. I think it looks good. Now let me show you a tip. Go to Properties and turn off Orient to Screen. Now the hearts are facing this way. If you go back and turn on Orient to Screen, they'll go in a different direction. So try it out and turn on or off Orient to Screen depending on the direction you want the stamps to go. Also in Properties, you can decrease or increase the preview size depending on how you want the stamp to show in your brush library. As always, don't forget to change the name of the brush and create a new reset point. And now you have three new hard brushes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think below. Thanks for watching and happy creating!